Sami Zayn is here. And he is all fired up. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Triangle of Terror. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. We'll have to contend with Gunther's devastating, unforgiving, punishing chops. Behold the intimidating sight of Gunther. The ring general is ready to come out here and do what he does best inside the ring. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Gunther! Gunther's all business. There is very little wasted motion in this man when he gets going. Well, there may be roadblocks in his path, but Gunther's dominance has shown no signs of slowing. Record-breaking reigns with the NXT UK and Intercontinental titles. He's put away main eventers and future Hall of Famers while defending those titles. The door is locked, and the only way to get out of Hell in a Cell is through your opponent. No rules, no regulations. Guys, this is the place where rivalries are settled forever. If it can't be decided here, it can't be decided, period. German suplex. He could pin his opponent right here. One, two, he narrowly avoids the count. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. And Sammy dodges that one. Missed timing with that springboard. Oh, run. Puts the boot to the midsection. Alley-oop. A knee drop delivered. So precise. Position here. Watch this display of power. Gorilla press. A gorilla press right into the side of the cell. Gunther is performing with such precision right now. And I don't see Gunther slowing down whatsoever. Boom. 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 Oof. He's heading back to the ring. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. DDT! Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. We have returned to the Windy City of Chicago for this year's Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell is what I call Saxon's hotel room after a few too many Chicago dogs. Hey! Gets inside the ring. 
Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT catch. Oh, snap there. Bottom and elbow. Here comes Sammy. Firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time. Whoa. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Sammy just brought the fight to him. Big forearm. Corey, how does a competitor reduce the chances of being seriously injured inside the cell? Well, make sure you're the one dishing out the punishment. Superstars got to develop a mastery of using the cell to their advantage. Everything can serve as a weapon to aid you in your opponent's demise. Weapons, of course, are legal in this match, but introducing one can also become a detriment to yourself. level of fight still left and Gunther. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Gunther can't find a foothold in this match. Gunther needs to cause some separation. Uppercut! Oh! And just look at the damage to Zayn's face after that shot. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. A stalemate of counters. Oh! more than fired up right now. Beautiful athleticism. The unraveled on Zane. Held in a perilous position. Taking this one back to the ring now. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. A power bomb. Does that finish Sammy off? Two. No. My, that was close. Oh, man, what a kick out. Sammy Zayn remains one of the most tenacious superstars around. And Gunther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. He steps foot in the ring again. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. away the loser here and Sami Zayn proving once again that he is not to be underestimated no matter the situation you just cannot overcome a competitor with the momentum of Sami Zayn
Here comes trouble. The following contest is a tag team Hell in a Cell match. And at a combined weight of 361 pounds, the WWE World Tag Team Champions, The Club. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. The WWE Universe on their feet. And at a combined weight of 435 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, The Bloodline. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. There's a reason this structure is called the Devil's Playground. The set is caught up, wicked, and uncivilized. One of the most cruel, unforgiving structures ever devised. The cell will break bones. It will shred flesh. It will change careers permanently. Matt Slam with some attitude. There's a Russian leg sweep. Rapid fire rights over and over. You can see that each strike drained the opponent's energy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. It truly cannot be stressed enough. Hell in a Cell is a match where you simply have to adapt to your environment as quickly as humanly possible. Or inhumanly possible, considering the domain. Good point, Corey. Trying to work the same match as you would any other night would simply be a fool's errand. And now the most dangerous area inside the cell. Uppercut connects. Oh, ooh. And that was an effective attack, guys. Got it scouted. Oh, man. He's one step ahead there. Shot to the face, gets him out of that spot. Caught square by the haymaker. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Oh, what an uppercut. Yeah, that's a 
some attitude behind it. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Oh, good Punch. measure. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this is where Hell in a Cell earns its name, people. The damage is just piling up as we head into deep waters. Oh. I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? Catches a punch. Oh, stiff uppercut. Man, what an uppercut. Punch connects. Uppercut. A lot of momentum now on his side. Nothing is going to stop him now. Oh, God. And now he's making his way down the cell wall. Oh, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. What a punch. Finds its mark. Oh, and an uppercut. I lost the tooth. He's starting to struggle here. No matter what, you have to be happy with yourself for the effort you put inside the cell. Yeah, but you'd be happier with the win. And he's taking on a persistent assault. Yeah, he's to pull out some form of offense here. Whoa! 
Raiders of the Cell just to fight up to the top where every step could be your last. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. Warm up the engine on the ambulance. I got a very bad feeling about where these competitors are going to end up soon. Powerful spine buster. it off. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. There are heights, and then there are heights. Oh, a jumping cutter. Nobody hits that one better. Oh, oh kick right in the face. Here he goes, right up the side of the saddle. Making it look easy. Oh, it looks like an act of desperation. A big one. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? Ooh, Roundhouse connects. Where do these superstars get the idea? But if this is something they dreamt up, I wouldn't want to know what their nightmares look like. Making his way up the cell wall. Apparently he loves chaos. Michael, there is no room for error here. Yeah, one slip up and it's trouble. Well, it's ruthless striking. Hell is a mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. This is rather reckless of him. Wouldn't you say this whole match is reckless? But necessary. Altering moments come from the top of that cell. Just endless knee strikes. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Super kick! Is he out of the now? Nasty backhand right there. We knew this was going to be a vicious match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Hell can go anywhere. Off the ropes. Nasty stop to finish it off. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and oh, stop right to the hand. Long drop! And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Up into the torture rack. You could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Counter after counter. Watching these two crash on top of the cell. Stopping down. And a suplex. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They are ravenous for these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. They got their opponent in the... Uh-oh. Gosh, what a match. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they I think they have blinders on sight. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Drop with the car. Glad I put my money on that guy tonight. Move it all you want. He's just feeding off it more. Ooh, earth-shattering spy buster. Guys, we know just how dangerous Hell in a Cell can be. And we're seeing right now. Oh, nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. Oh, a forward smash. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Man, the knee strike. So when you get the EMTs ready, I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously bounding. Some whiplash. My gosh, this is making the hair on my neck stand up. A nervous energy has come across this arena as war is waged on top of the cell. Oh, what the fuck? Can he shut the door on this one? The 
Saxton. You go up there and try to reason with him. Oh, crush a hamstring. Oh, driven face first. Oh, strong knee connects. And he's able to counter. A and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Just unloading knees to the body. Guys, we can see the top of the set. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. We've seen some battles up in the cell, and nothing good ever comes of it. Oh, that hurt. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back in the fight. Oh, right we have descended to the last circle of hell, gentlemen. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. The stomp in every single part of his body. His whole arena is standing, watching these maniacs battle it out. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. I don't care who you are. You can't survive any more of those. What a barrage of stops. Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. He's trying again. Oh, he is. That's going to hurt. Come on. And we are done here. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Hopefully the chain link flatliner. The pain window beckons. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. This is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Just toying with their opponent right now. Having fun at their expense. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I think they have blinders on Saxon. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. Answering back. The EST is here. This is going to be good. The following champion versus champion contest is a hell in a cell match. Making our way to the ring 
from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. I know she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only gonna get better. You're right, Cole, it's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. So you need to have the match of your life. Charlotte has all the natural talent in the world. She's done it all. So you gotta be at 100% to beat her. One win will change it all for her career. Miss two titles is here. And from the Queen City, the WWE Women's World Champion and the Women's Global Internet Champion, Charlotte Flair. A women's title in WWE is a sign of true greatness. And this woman has two signs in her hands right now. And the look on her face says, you think you can take either of these from me? Well, I dare you to try. Think of what her accomplishment means to girls everywhere. Female competitors are even more inspired by seeing her with two titles. Just an amazing accomplishment. With the women's division being so fierce, double titles means double the list of challengers gunning for her. And Hell in a Cell is known as the place in WWE where rivalries are settled forever. It is the absolute last resort for a grudge that will not die. If it can't be settled inside Hell in a Cell, you have to take it up with God himself as far as I'm concerned. A picture perfect moonsault. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Oh, that might have just broken something. Ducking out of trouble. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Wow, oh, what a strike to the back. What kind of mindset does it take to be able to succeed inside Hell in a Cell? You need killer instinct. There's no time to catch your breath or worry about external factors. It's all about attacking harder and winning at any cost. A second time! What brute... And here's a cover! And she's not done yet. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Ooh, a sharp kick. And back in the ring we go. Up high! to the win. Oh, the knees, the knees caught him. Could be a turning point. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Heading up top. High risk. Here we go. The second time. Standing moonsault. Is it enough? Two count. She kicks out with authority after two. She's still as determined as ever. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Oh, jarring uppercut. Oh, that is a power pack punch. And she had Charlotte's number there. She's enduring some damage. 
The Queen landing an impressive attack, trying to dominate the opposition. Oh! And Belair reverses it. Uncorks it, uppercut. Oh, stiff punch. Oh, that'll rattle you. What a shot. Ooh, she just turned it around. Oh, man. Oof. Closed fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up the move. Man, what an uppercut. Boom! Climbs back inside. Press. And Belair is making a statement right there about what happened. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. KOD. Did Belair just close this out? Charlotte suffering a major loss here tonight. This win might have been a statement. The EST staking her claim and marking her territory. The following champion versus champion contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the ECW World and the World Heavyweight Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, 
But AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right. If AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. Mr. Two Titles has arrived. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. Introducing first, from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles! And his opponent, from Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, weighing in at 230 pounds, the ECW World Champion and the Ring of Honor Triple Crown Tag Team Champion, Marcel Black. This is what we've waited for. Champion versus champion. There's a lot on the line here in this one tonight, even more than titles. Yeah, Michael, there's a lot on the line mentally in this one. Confidence, pride, and honor. Losing this match could send either one of these champions into a spiral of self-doubt. You have to hope that a champion's mentality is a little more solid than that, Byron. Goes into the pin. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Not even a near fall there. Strong right form. He just bit. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Into the corner. This can't be good. I think we know what's coming next. Nicely done. Byron, is it possible to stay one step ahead of your opponent in a match as horrific as Hell in a Cell? Well, it could come down to the first superstar that can turn that switch and battle on pure instinct because a strategy could be lost and all you have left is the ability to fight. And that can happen quickly in an environment where cruelty is rewarded for having no bounds. Ooh, man! 
he's able to reverse. Quick return to the ring. A vicious knee. Attacking the knee. What are we about to soon? Ah, crush a hamstring. Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. The arm getting pummeled. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. All right now he's looking for anywhere to break out of this, and he does. Great agility. Reverse DDT for Styles. Are you kidding me? Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Looking to take flight here. Desperate attempt here to get back. Up high. Tiny cross body. Throwing all costs into the win. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Styles, Styles will through. Cat crusher. Cat. Are you kidding me? Oh man, he is fired up now. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Dials gets him back. Ooh. Unloading with an uppercut. Boom, what an uppercut. Landing the uppercut. It's all AJ right now. The phenomenal one is holding nothing back. Oh, jarring uppercut. Oh. Oh, man, what an uppercut. He steps foot in the ring again. to prevent Styles' attack. Coming back in the ring. With this win, he now holds another title. He's putting together one heck of a resume, adding even more championship gold.